Hello friends, uh, this is Himanshu from Code Campaign, and we are continuing with our recursion series. So today the problem that we are going to discuss in our recursion series is night tour. So this problem is being repeatedly asked in the interviews of Amazon, Microsoft, Google. Uh, a lot of time these problems are being asked in different variations. So we'll look into one variation of this problem and how we'll go ahead and solve this problem. So what does uh, night tour problem says? The night tour problem says that uh, first of all, uh, if you, I hope you, all of you guys are aware of the chess. So uh, in chess, knight moves in L direction, right? So suppose our knight is at this position. So it can move like this. It can move like this. Right, it can move in these two um, directions, right? So this is our night boot. So what night tour problem suggests? So if we are starting from this position, can we uh, make knights move in such a way that we should be able to occupy all the cells of the board? Okay. So uh, let's see how the solution will look like. So. So this is the this is how the solution will look like for the night problem. So if you are starting from this position, if we make our first move here, and then make our second move here, then make our third move here, then make our fourth move here. So if you keep on making the moves like this, so at the end we'll be able to occupy the whole board, right? So we have to find uh, the way in which we should move our a knight on the board that we should be able to fill all the cells okay so uh, what are the constraints of the problem the constraints of the problems are we cannot traverse the already traversed cell again right and the other constraint which is very obvious we cannot move outside the board okay so uh, let's go back here so again as we have seen in the previous videos while we were solving the problems of you know google or uh, you know printing the permutation of the string or uh, rat in a maze we saw in the previous video first what we have to do we have to find our moves right so let's find what will be our moves so suppose uh, we are at this position so in uh, how many like in how many direction our knight can move so first our knight can make a move in this direction it can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. It can also make a move in this direction. Right. So our knight can move, make a move in eight different directions right so as we have done in our previous problem so we will first find uh, first, first we'll read, uh, write down our moves okay so suppose uh, what will be the coordinate for this the coordinates will be 2 comma 3 right so to move till here the coordinates are here 0 comma 4 so we have to subtract our row by 2 and we have to increment our column by 1 right to move here we have to again subtract our row by 2 we have to decrement our column by 1 right let's see for this guy to reach here we have to increment our row by 2 and increment our column by 1 to reach here we have to increment our row by 2 but we have to decrement our column by 1 okay now let's suppose we want to reach from here to here so coordinates are 1 comma 5 so what we have to do we have to decrement our row by 1 and increment our column by 2 to reach here we have to decrement our row by 1 and decrement our column by right to reach here 
we have to uh, increment our row by one and increment our column by two and at the end to reach here we have to increment our row by one and decrement our column by two so these are all so these are all the eight moves that we can make okay one two three four five six seven eight okay so now we'll use this these moves and let's directly jump into the code and see how we can solve this problem by using the backtracking and recursion so this is our visual studio id and last time we wrote the code for finding the path in the maze okay so let's start writing the code for this problem night tour problem okay so We will have a visited areas input where we keep track of the moves and the cells that we visited. We'll have the current row and the current column, and then we'll have the move integer. Okay, so first we'll put our termination condition. So, our termination condition will be when our move equal to 64, right? Because we have to go through all the 64 blocks here right we have to fill all the cells so whenever move will be equal to 64 that means this is our termination condition so at this time we will print our visited two dimensional array which will represent our board and will show us the moves that we had taken so far okay so Visited row, comma, column. Let them separate by co comma and <coughs> space. Let's add a new line here. And that's all. And after, we'll say true. We've been able to find the moves by which we'll be able to fill all the cells okay now in else condition again we'll do the same thing we'll go through all the different moves that we can take so Now let's create our get our new row index So after this, we have to validate if these indexes are valid. So let's try it again. One more function to validate if valid move okay. 
let's pass over visited array here then our new row and new column Now we have to validate it. Our new row is valid index. So, because this is a chess board, so this should be less than 8. Again, we'll validate the column also. Greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 8. And then cells should not be visited already right so should be equal to zero okay if all these conditions are satisfied that means we can visit this cell otherwise we will return false this cell we cannot visit okay so let's call this function here if valid move pass visited here our new row and column new okay now again we will update uh, first we'll increment our move count by one then we will update our visited array and mark this cell Now we'll again call the recursion. And we'll pass move here also. So what I'm doing here, I'm checking if I'm able to find the solution, I will go out of recursion. Okay. And if I'm not able to find the solution, so I will again backtrack. Okay. And if I'm unable to find any solution, so I'll say return false. So as you can see, this is also following our uh, backtracking template that we discussed in the previous video. So you see here, this is the, our final completion condition. Then we are printing the output. We are going through all the moves. We are update. Uh, we are finding the new indexes. We are validating the indexes. We are updating the values, and then we are calling the recursion. Okay. So now let's go and check. If this thing works so this is our visited array i marked everything as zero that means no cell is visited up till now so let's mark our suppose we are starting from zero comma zero so let's so we are making our first move from zero comma zero so we have updated it here now let's call our function night tour visited we are starting from 0 comma 0 and our first okay so now let's run this program and see if this thing works just one minute let me check once again here I again made the mistake here so we have to print ing here okay now let's just run this program cool 
so we got the output and yeah we've been able to fill all the cells and you can even match this output with the uh, with our output of uh, PPT which I'm yeah so let's discard so this was the output right so let's put it sideways and put this here and just move it a little bit cool so yeah one so they are starting from zero and we are starting with first move right so this is the only difference i guess so first second so zero and one yeah so our output looks similar and again the same thing this uh, so if you go back to our code this code is also following the same backtracking template so i hope uh, now you guys after solving four problems i think now you guys are <coughs> familiar with how to solve the problems of regression using back tracking so if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribed and uh, see you again thanks